Shout out to the K&J fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're back, you guys, for a mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang, as you can see. What? A Mediterranean mukbang. Woo! More specifically, you guys, Turkish donor food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is, yeah, it's essentially... Like a euro. Like a euro. Euros are Greek. Mm -hmm. Uh, So this is uh, from Turkey. So Mm -hmm. they call it donors. Exactly. um, Donor meat in uh, Turkey as opposed to euro meat in Greece. Yep. Um, But it's very similar um, Mm -hmm. and it's very, very delicious. So, you know, it's like a euro, but it's a donor. Uh Uh-huh. And it's really good. So we got a couple things um, in terms of introducing the food and then we'll do a thumbnail Mm -hmm. and get it in because I'm starving. I know. Yes. We got two different kinds of donors. We got a lamb and beef donor and then we got a chicken donor. Okay, so yes. we got those meats, and then we got a combo a donor plate, which is just lamb and beef. It's got some um, Turkish rice. Yep. Got some tomato and lettuce and cabbage, pickled cabbage. Yep, that's it. Really, really good. And then we just got some bread. Well, they have uh, their bread, flat bread, essentially. Yeah, it's like pita bread. Pita bread, mm-hmm. but not. I don't think they call pita it pita. Bread. Pita. It was yeah. not pita bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they have this delicious yes. yogurt sauce that they make in house. So good. And we're gonna pour it on everything. <laughs> Literally, every bite is gonna get this and some hot sauce. Yes. <laughs> so we are excited. Cool. So th- yeah, thumbnail and get orange it in. Orange Gina to drink. Okay. Oh yeah, orange Gina. Yeah. Got Snow. a yeah raspberry. Uh, yeah, raspberry. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do that. I'm thumbnail. so excited. Raspberry tea. Cool. Uh, okay. All right, you guys. Here goes the thumbnail. Yeah. One. Two, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. We're no. going to do that. Yeah, whatever. Okay. okay. It's fine. Yeah, let, let's leave it on here. Okay. Yeah, we'll just point okay. and do it. Okay. Or I won't even point. I'll just... Okay. Okay. What, I'll do it with you. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. <laughs> That's probably one of the worst <laughs> thumbnails I've done. I just wasn't... I know. I wasn't in it. <laughs> no. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, Whatever. but I haven't had the worst allergies all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've been sneezing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I might sneeze in this video, too. So if I look a little rough. What type of weather is this, guys? We get we get allergies when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When it's wet. Dude, it's been crazy. Oh, yeah. So. I've had this, like, a tickle, like, right on the back of my nose, and that's yeah. what's just, like, making me sneeze. Ah, it's the worst. It's been rough. The tickle's the worst. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We should have done thumbnail like this. Uh, okay, well, it's it's flat down there, but yeah, That's let's do it. Okay, one, one two, two, three. Okay, we're good. Okay. We got Lots it. to choose from. Exactly. Do you want tapatio? Uh, I'll take some tapatio. Thank okay. you. Okay. And then if you want to yes. switch it out. Oh. Cool, sorry. No worries. So this place, you guys, we've gone to... For years, yes, years and years and years, and they've grown over the years. We were definitely one of the first to go there, so mm-hmm. we take pride in saying that we're the first one, one of the first. Mm. It's good. It's been a long, but we haven't been here in a long time, though. We haven't. Mm. We've been here in like years. It feels like I don't know if it's been years. Maybe like a year ago we went, and with the sauce. So they've had the sauce from the beginning. We went like a year ago, maybe, and the sauce they didn't have. They had like a a different, like a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're like, hey, what happened to your like original yogurt sauce? So they're like, oh, we don't make that anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were upset because the, they had switched it out for something like nasty. Yeah. And so we thought that they had done that permanently, but now this is back. A lot of people probably complain. I'm sure. Because this sauce is incredible. Uh Mm -hmm. (laughs) So people probably complain. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm. And it was the sauce that they were making with their donors. Yeah. So this sauce yeah. is actually inside of here, so it made it taste different. Yes. And I'm sure people were like, nah, mm-hmm. nah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can't downgrade the food mm-hmm. trying to save money or something. It was downgraded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Because they have a lot of like spices and flavors in this. Yeah, exactly. Particular yogurt sauce, and it's so amazing. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. And definitely one of the best places. Mm-hmm. Where near where we live. Look at that. Mm. So good. Mm. So the one thing I don't like, I mean, the food's incredible. 
Mm. But the owners, mm-hmm. I mean, he's not a ba- Okay, so you have the owner, the main owner, mm-hmm. and he has a wife that works as well, too. And a few other people, the too. The wife is so nice. She's incredible. Mm. She's really incredible. Like, she's she's probably one of the reasons why we go there still consistently, but, uh-huh. but the guy, the husband, who owns it, I mean, he's not a bad guy either. You know, he's talkative and stuff, but this one time kind of made me a little upset. Uh-huh thing that made me really upset. Uh-huh. Um, do you remember what I'm going to talk about? Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> I do. We had, you know, they had just opened up and, you know, we maybe have gone there for like a year or something. They were like a year open or something. And, At least. Yeah. And I remember going there and I, um, I got my donor, um, you know, I got everything we needed. I got a drink, you know, ordered there, picked it up. I left. Um, and you know, I thought I had everything as soon when I got maybe... Halfway home, and it, they're not. It's not that far from our house. It's it, at the time. It was only a few miles away. Um, I realized I forgot my drink, and while I was there, by the way, I opened the drink, sipped a little bit, put it back on the table, and closed it. Uh-huh. Right. So I was like, oh, I forgot my drink. I got to go back and get it. I drove all the way back. I get there, and I was like, Hey, um, I left my drink. I think I left my drink right on the table. Now, by the way. I think there might have maybe been one other person in that place, right? So he knew it was mine. He knew it was mine. So I get there. I was like, hey, I left my drink. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. You had opened it. So because of that, I had to throw it away. I didn't know you were going to come back. Um, but I'm so sorry about that. I, I, I threw it away. And I was kind of like, okay, well, can, can I get another one? And he's like, dude, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't give you another one. I'm so sorry about that. Now, keep in mind... I didn't say this. We had been supporting this dude from the beginning. Mm-hmm. We referred a whole bunch of people there, walked him in with us to give him food. Go like we went like I gave once him a twenty dollar tip one time mm-hmm. off of like a you know five dollar I don't know I think it was like a ten dollar thing. Mm-hmm. Gave him like a twenty dollar tip, and you know it was kind of like what you are telling me you can't you can't give me another one or something write it off because you threw it away, <laughs> which right. I get that I was gone, but dude I came back. Mm-hmm. You know I don't know so. I felt a little, little shady. I agree. A little bit. A mm-hmm. little bit. But. Yeah. Okay. The food is so good. Yeah. I was like, it's okay. But it did rub us the wrong way. Because. It did. Even. I think we would have given him for free if that we had oh, a business. For sure. 100%. Mm-hmm. But. I'm just kind of like. You know. It's the I little get things. It. It's. Yeah. It's the little things. Exactly. <laughs> it's, I mean. Mm-hmm. Nobody's expecting him to like. Give me a free meal. You know. Or anything like that. But. Maybe replace the drink since you, <laughs> since I was only in there like ten minutes prior, you know. One hundred percent. Something like that. Cut the crystal sauce. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. But other than that, love the food. It's so good. It was great, and I've had nothing but great experiences. Um, other than that. Other than that, yeah. yeah, it's been really, it's been really cool. We stopped going up for a little while. I was a little upset. I was like, okay, <laughs> this isn't cool. Yeah, because we had patroned and given them. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars, oh, yeah. you know, maybe even a thousand, a thousand. I don't know. We got there for a long time. We went there a lot. Early. We used to go like once a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so to not, you know, give you the drink for free. Yeah, or, when it means a lot, you know. Yeah, at least try to compromise something. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Something. I'm like, his, man, his really? His wife probably would have did that. Oh, 100 percent. She would have. She's she is that type of person, you know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this crystal sauce is so good with this. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my god. This is the lamb and beef. It's mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is um, insane. The best. How good it is. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely the best. Mmm. Mm. I'm happy. I know. I'm so hungry. I can't even. I can't even think of anything to talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> we are enjoying. Yeah. I hope you guys have had this kind of food before, donor. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you guys, Thanksgiving's over. Um, yes. You know, as we're recording this, we're past Thanksgiving, of course, but it's Monday, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we are looking forward to Christmas now. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to Christmas. We can't wait. Yeah. It's right around the corner. Yeah. 
I'm definitely excited to celebrate the it. The holiday shopping yeah. has commenced. Black Friday it was no joke, you mm-hmm. guys. <laughs> Seriously, Black Friday is over the top. Mm-hmm. It's over the top. People can't drive. They can't see the road, it seems like. I don't know. I mean, I, I, mean, I was behind just back to back just ridiculously slow people ridiculous i feel like we almost got in like three accidents yeah back to back to back back to back on a way to get this food yeah today yeah people aren't stopping at stop signs no nope. nope. totally cutting in front of you yeah like last minute yep uh those are like and those are like dangerous That's about right those are pretty dangerous things you know yeah, yeah. They are. it's one thing to drive like a little too slow or whatever like that's not a huge deal but mm-hmm. it's crazy well that's a tough thing mm-hmm on holidays or just on times when it's like really packed people are out doing stuff Mm -hmm. like you get a lot of people that really don't know where they're going or what's going on Uh and they just they don't know what they're doing you Mm -hmm. know driving wise it's it's the worst oh yeah some guy like stopped in the middle of the road oh yeah didn't put his hazards (laughs) on he's just like stopped Uh uh-huh like Mm -hmm. a busy road his car wasn't broken down he looked lost Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm so that's a little dangerous. It's weird. It's mm. a little dangerous. Mm-hmm. You know. But. But we didn't do any shopping. <clears throat> I'm looking at my shirt because I think I spilled rice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> you spilled it down. Little down? Little. Uh-huh. Well, no. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I must have. <laughs> it's okay. What happens? And it's, yes, we need to start our holiday shopping, babe. I know. Oh, my God. We're kind of last minute mm-hmm. holiday shoppers for sure. Not even kind of, completely. Yeah. Last. I know we're not the only people, Mm-mm. but. But we're one. We're, but the people that do it are, I think, less stressed what? <laughs> during the holidays. So that do it last minute. Early. early. Oh, that you think people who do it earlier are less stressed? Mm-hmm. I feel like we're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get a little stressed because we're like, okay, two more weeks until Christmas. And we haven't shopped at all. Mm-hmm. One more week until Christmas. We haven't shopped at all. So I think we get stressed with like the guilt. Yeah. And feeling bad about it. That's exactly it. But we do our shopping in like one day. Mm-hmm. We bust it out. Like a few days before Christmas. We, we go like, yeah, sometimes we're out of things. So that they does kind of suck. But yes. I do feel we're not as stressed because we don't take as long shopping. I think the stress comes from like the That's guilt. True. Right? That's actually a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely would say that it's more of a guilt thing rather than anything else. But mm-hmm. but we wait till the last minute to shop. Mm-hmm. That's not good. <laughs> I don't. I don't yeah. want to do that this time. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. we should like if do we it do, earlier. Yeah, we do it. We've been doing Amazon the last two years. Oh yeah, we have. Which has been mm-hmm. really good because obvi- I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure. Most people do. Most now. people do Amazon, mm-hmm. and they've been doing Amazon. Maybe mm-hmm. <laughs> we started doing it. We actually started Amazon late. You know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it was late. Like I remember talking to one guy. Like it was like it was probably like the beginning of two. Yeah, like two years ago. Like exactly around mm-hmm. this time period. And he was like, "You don't use Amazon?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "Nah, dude, <laughs> I don't." You know, right? So and he was like, "Yeah, you should you should definitely use it. It's a way easier to buy stuff rather than mm-hmm. just going in store." You know. We were like to the Amazon yeah, for world, sure. I feel like. I like going in, grabbing stuff and buying it. You do? Having it the same day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. I prefer that. Mm-hmm. Problem is that none of these stores carry it anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, carry, they don't carry stuff in the store. Right. The be- like, thank you. You're welcome. You can... um. Like, for example, you go into Target, first off, there's way more stuff on Amazon than you're going to find in Target, mm-hmm. clearly, right? So they're not going to have this stuff. But what really irritates me is when you go in there, something you need, like a phone case, for example, mm-hmm. right? And you get a little plastic one, and it's like $200. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what? For just this plastic thing that I can get on Amazon for 20 bucks, mm-hmm. no joke, plus shipping? It's crazy. That's true. Uh-huh. It's crazy. So that really... I hate that. It's more expensive in the store. Way more expensive, and they know that. That's why they do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe but, they don't, but... W- well... That's not why they do it, but still they do it. No, but I was going to say that obviously they know that that incentivizes people to yes. 
buy things online. Yeah, that's true. Because if it's cheaper online than it is in the store, it's just going to go online. People are just going to go online, yeah. Mm. Except when you have an emergency, when you need stuff uh-huh. right away, you know. Do you think everything is going to be online eventually? Oh, 100%. Like you don't yeah. think that Target's going to mm. be able to stick around? I mean... Because people like shopping. They do like shopping, which is actually probably the reason why it won't ever fully go away. Uh-huh. But will it be way smaller than it is now? Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Mm-hmm. At some point, I think they're going to figure out like ways to like deliver it to your door, right? Mm-hmm. Like um, the drone stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I know for a few years back, there was like talk about... Amazon delivering through drones. Are they still going to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of laws they would have to, you know, pass over and things like that. But I know the delivery is getting better now. Obviously, it's two days. And in some cases, it's even one day. So I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Ha- they, so they, they, yeah, so yeah. Amazon has not started delivering through drones. No. Are no, you no. sure? Uh, I mean, I'm positive. Okay. Are you positive? I don't know. Mm. Okay. I think there was an article uh-huh. I told you about mm-hmm. where some guy like in some it was like a small town uh-huh. Amazon delivered like a six pack of beer to him or something like that or six pack not a beer like <laughs> they delivered something maybe it was beer mm-hmm. they delivered something to him mm-hmm. um, through a drone but it wasn't anything big it was more of just like a just a news article thing that they were just talking about. It was like something small. So they did, though. They did. They did deliver something to them. Mm-hmm. Yes. They did. But but it wasn't anything that was, like, going to happen anytime soon. Mm. But they were talking about, it was almost talking about in the future, they want to do that. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mm. be surprised if they didn't figure that out somehow. I would like know? to see that. Well, it'd be cool because you'd get your stuff as soon as you order it. <clears throat> as soon as you order it, it would just show up. Well, I mean, not as soon as you order it. I mean, you know. But. Within an hour. Because they would just less. put it on the drone. Yeah. They go right there. And they have warehouses everywhere. <sighs> That's crazy. The warehouses uh, are everywhere. So then from there, you just pretty much just, yeah, <laughs> you just send it off. So that would be crazy. Uh, excuse me. Where do you think the closest Amazon warehouse is? Here, San Francisco. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. Like to think that the Prime, Amazon Prime people leave from San Francisco every day and go all the way up. Well. Right. To be honest, they probably have closer ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but. Maybe not, though. Well, it might like, actually be San Francisco. Because when we track it, I think sometimes it says it comes from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Well, definitely come from San Francisco, for sure. But they must have, like, smaller hubs, too. Maybe yeah, for, they, I don't know. Exactly. They might have something like that, but I think the majority of the stuff that you get is coming specifically from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's cool. I get fascinated by, like, the delivery system in general. Mm-hmm. Like, um... The, mm-hmm. the mail, the United States Postal Service. Mm-hmm. I'm fascinated by that. I think I've talked in another video about it. <laughs> How you put a letter in a slot, a mail slot, mm-hmm. anywhere. You can be anywhere in the world. You put it in a mail slot, and it'll get to across the world in a few days. <laughs> why, that, it's mind boggling. It fascinating? It's fascinating because, like, the organ, organizational system to be able to do that is mind-boggling like how much cooperation it takes not even just the united states postal service internationally Mm -hmm. like they'll fly all your mail and your packages in mail jets (laughs) Mm -hmm. anywhere in the world and you can send something that's true pretty quickly well how crazy is that it's crazy new york new york to california yeah like Put it in a blue mailbox slot. Sure. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Three, four days later, a person gets it. That's it's a good at point. their house. I don't know. 
Yeah. You thought I'm tripping? Oh, oh like, 100% how... you're tripping, yes. <laughs> it ain't even that big of a deal. It is a big deal. It's so it's, cool. It's, you know what, I There's guess... someone delivering every single mail, getting I... to that right place at, at someone's house, in someone's P.O. box, in someone's commercial property. I mean, like, it's so cool. And they hardly lose it. I mean, yes, they've lost a few, but yeah. rarely. In comparison, yes. Packages, mail. <laughs> Uh, is that not amazing? The United it's, States Postal Service is like a f- is, is like phenomenon to me. The only time it would be amazing is like... It's an anomaly. You know when you're a kid and you go on a field trip and you go to a post office and they're like, it goes here and it does that. Uh-huh. Like, that's when it's interesting. I'm like that though. Other like I that, think it's fascinating. So crazy. I know it is. You put it in like a mail spot on a corner. Do you want mm-hmm. something? Uh, sriracha or something? Oh, no, okay. no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm you good. put it in like a mail slot on the mm-hmm. corner of your street. <laughs> And it says it's going to get picked up at 4 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> every day, except for Sunday or something. Mm-hmm. Like, there's somebody designated on your corner, on your mail box slot, mm-hmm. to pick that up for you, to put it wherever they put it in your local postal service, to get put in another thing for a, for an international postal service. I mean, it's amazing. Do you actually know how it works, the system? No. That's probably why I find it fascinating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, it does. How does it work? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Exactly. But if I were to guess, Who I, I can't actually. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have, guess. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just write in an address. It's not like you're you're not scanning it. Like you know how there's some things you'll like yeah. send in the mail. It's already scanned. Mm-hmm. So they probably mm-hmm. just scan that, and the and the system knows where to go. But when you handwrite it. Somebody has to read yes. your address that you're sending it to. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. To put it somewhere to be sent. Yeah. <laughs> you're really mind blown by that. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. There's crazy, there's crazier things out there. It's crazier things. It's really not, you, though. You, yeah. You want to know something crazy? Okay, tell me what's crazier than the organizational system okay. of the United States Postal Service. Go. Me? Taking my phone, uh huh, sending an email to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. An email to you. How crazy is that? Electronic mail. Electronic mail. Because how? Where? Where is that coming from? Where, where does it go? Where well, I'm it? sure if we it's learn that it goes to some satellite. But you gotta and learn that satellite it. reads reads it. But you gotta learn it, right? Of course, once you learn the stuff, you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> But yeah. just looking at the post office, you're like, oh, my mail got well, this from is here how, across. Well, this is how I feel, though. With an email. Mm-hmm. You type in your email address. Mm-hmm. That goes to some type of a satellite that reads your email address. I don't know if this is how it works. Okay. And that satellite says, okay, it needs to go to Jamil Wallace. Yes. And it does. But what about the air? <laughs> how is it getting <laughs> to the satellite to begin with? That Off of your phone. That is fascinating. <sighs> It's very fast. Electronic, yeah. Electronic e- mails are cool. Yes. The waves. No, for sure. The waves. The waves. How the waves? The internet. Uh-huh. It's interesting. Sharing each other's phones. Yes. Or sending a song to somebody through email. Sending anything. Yeah, yeah. music through email. A, a voice, video. A video. That is cool. Email. That's what I'm saying. But the United States Postal Service <laughs> is pretty cool, too. No, it's not. <laughs> Do you not find it fascinating? No, I don't. <laughs> Somebody has to read every single address and, no, and state it. and zip yes. code. Yes. Put it in an appropriate place, and then that place goes somewhere else where that person probably has to read it. Yes, that's true. I mean, like there's airplanes of yes. of letters, Airplane, and airplanes of letters, packages yes. that go all throughout the world mm-hmm. to get your letter mm-hmm. to so and so. Like before, they used to probably just get somebody on a horse and carriage. No, they do. You know, you probably couldn't send it internationally back in the day. Or maybe you could. Boat Express. Yeah. That makes sense. You're like, here, John, take this letter. I'm Mm -hmm. in California. Take it to New York. Mm -hmm. New York to, you know, Mark. Yeah. Twain. (laughs) You know, and then that guy on the Pony Express is like, yes, ma'am, I will do that. Takes hella long, but at least one mail, you know, he knows. He sees the address he's going for weeks. Well, they also, yeah, and they also have, too, sorry to cut you off, but they also have telegrams they had telegrams right so telegrams is kind of that same system though right yeah. like you have one letter you send it to john who works at the telegram service yep he gives it to the delivery guy to send it it's just mm-hmm. you know that's so individual exactly. this is the united states postal service is like a whole New huge system. 
organizational system that you have to sort yeah. and and put in categories and boxes no. and like it's not it's that interesting it's fascinating if, oh, if you went to go work there which you should maybe <laughs> maybe maybe you missed your calling in life. I should maybe it's not mukbangs <laughs> maybe it's the post I would service. love to do a tour of the United States Postal Service until you figure out how they do it, and you're like, "This is boring." Do you think it would be? I hope not. It would be I, so it's boring. Fascinating well, to me. you what's, what you find fascinating is the system, yes. not the you know because not individually one yeah. letter to go one place exactly. That's different exactly because that's not so the way hard they have to, to organize to. the pickups, yes. the drop offs, mm-hmm. the 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 trucks, the the jets, mm-hmm. the you know uh, 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 you know going <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's interesting. The thousands of people that work for it. I don't know. Yes. It's a huge system. It's Yet, cool. I could send you a video through this phone thing, uh, whatever this thing is, uh-huh. or I could no, call, cool yeah. call, call someone. Yeah. No, that's fascinating also. It's magic. If it you is were, magic. Look, look. If you were to go back in time into, <laughs> I don't know, the early 17... Oh, no. Our lights, you guys. Okay, let me let me do this, and then we're gonna have to wrap this up because something's up with this. Okay. I think my thing might be broken. <sighs> Still was this me. not amazing by that? Yeah, it was. It was amazing. Oh, it's right here. Well, we'll see. If this thing's fucking broken or not. Okay. So if you were to go back in time to yeah. the no. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Thanks. I was like this. If you were to go back in time into like the 1700s, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> and you gave them ideas. I don't know if you told somebody you were like. In the future, they're going to have these two things. They're going to have one that's a postal service where you could write a note and put it in a slide and it'll go anywhere in the world. But then you also have this thing that you could talk on and and I could talk to you. First, they wouldn't even know what that means. Like, Did they not have phones in the 1700s? 1700s? Yeah. No, they didn't, did they? No, they okay. did not. <laughs> no, they did not. It was the early 1900s. The, yes. <laughs> The seventeen hundreds. Okay, keep going. Okay. They didn't even have the Pony Express. Okay, bad question. Okay, go. <laughs> no, anyways. <laughs> so you're on the phone. So you can talk on something. Talk on a phone. On yeah, a device. Talk on something and you could be all the way across the country and stuff like that. Yeah, and talk to that person. Which one are they going to burn you for first? More. <laughs> <laughs> the phone thing. Because that sounds like witchcraft. That does. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Writing yeah. this letter that they already know about. <laughs> putting it in somewhere to be like, oh, I could kind of get that, but a phone? Yeah. Explain that and it's small. And you pick up pocket, something. You just go like this. Hold it to your ear uh-huh. and you can talk to John. Yeah. They would think John is inside that box. That's true. They'd be like, you're a witch and... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you're going on a stake first for that one. You know? Yeah. That's my I can see that better. You know. but it Maybe is because like the United States Postal Service is such an older system. Sure. And yeah. I'm like fascinated now by it. Yeah, and I, I mean, yeah, that's true. That's Do you think that cool. eventually is going to go out of business? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think everything, well, it's all going to be Majority. electronic? Yeah, because, you know, as generations come and go, people. I mean, when was the last time you mailed something? How often do you mail something? Rarely. Yeah. I, I haven't... Only when they make you. Yeah. You, you know, know, you rarely do it. Mm-hmm. I rarely mail anything. And I think as digital gets, you know, further mm-hmm. and further. Uh, in in existence, you know, um, online, the internet, and stuff like that, right? I mean, it's it's cheaper, right? Why have paper when mm-hmm. you can do other things? Mm-hmm. So it makes sense. You know, when you could just do digital. So that makes sense. Anyways, it's fascinating. Guys, yeah, I hope that we blew your mind a little bit. I want to talk digital stuff next time. Okay, because I got some interesting stuff. I'll talk digital. Let's do it. I'll talk digi with you. Exactly. What do you have to say? Well, like what? Well, just things. Okay. I want to talk I'll, about I'll talk things. I don't know. I don't know what I want to talk about. I want to talk about whatever. We'll talk the digital. Era. Exactly. We'll eat and talk. Whatever that means. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for Appreciate watching this it. video. We're going to wrap up. We're full. Tired. Yes. All the things. Exactly. Okay, yeah. you guys. Please feel free to share this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. 
Let people know who the K&J fam are. We love you guys so, 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 so much. Yes. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow for our next video. See you next time. Okay. Have a wonderful mm -hmm. evening. Peace.